Hey folks, so today I am working on my BMW K100 motorcycle. Um, I haven't ridden it in a couple of years and um, I've got carpal tunnel, so it, it just makes unriding, uh, riding it really unpleasant. So I've decided to sell the bike and I'm getting it ready. So I replaced the battery and it still wouldn't start. And uh, what I found is that the wires to the um, fuel pump had lost most of their insulation and unfortunately that to me is a real safety hazard and I can't sell the bike like that. So I did take the fuel pump out and the fuel pump still works. So I put voltage to it, ran just fine. That That's a welcome and pleasant thing. Um, but I need to change the fuel tank sender and do some other stuff here. So figured shoot some video. Now, one of the things that needed to be done is I needed to use, uh, I needed to get the gas out of the tank. Um, that was a real problem. And so I went on to Amazon and there is a product called a gas tapper. Oops. Let me just rearrange this. So this is called a gas tapper and it's essentially a, a fuel filter, a squeeze bulb, and some hose with a clip um, for $18. And it works like a charm. It had the it had five gallons of gas out of this thing in just, just a few minutes. Um, and uh, I'm just gonna store it in a bucket because, well, the heck with it. So now at this point, what I need to do is I need to get this tank off here because I need to change the um, fuel sender. So I bought um, so the replacement parts online. They were unfortunately expensive. So one of the things that it came with was, I swear I fell some, heard something fall. So one of the things that, that I needed was, um, I needed, you know, this wire here. And so this part here was a couple hundred dollars. It's a VDO sending gauge and it includes a, a new um, fuel gauge and real nice part. I ordered these from Euromotive Electrics, I think. Yeah, Euromoto Electrics. So they're a specialty retailer out of, I think it was Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, Denver, close enough. And, um, you know, I ordered about $400 worth of parts. I also needed some things to go with the fuel pump. There's a rubber boot that it sits in that had completely disintegrated. And, um, you know, priority mail shipping was $18. It was here actually in two days. It was really fast, so it was awesome. So anyway, let me get started on this and see if I can get this thing apart. First things first, I need some light. And then I need disconnect some, disconnect some hoses over here. So I'm using a pair of pliers to break the um, hoses loose because they have a tendency to lock when they've been sitting. And do this. All right. And I'm going to wear gloves. So I think at this point, this lifts off. And still got a fair amount of fuel in here, so that's my next thing to deal with is to get that fuel out. Okay, so I have gotten the tank completely drained of gasoline, and what I'm using is just an extra paint tray that I have, and I've placed a couple of rags here to protect the finish, and the paint tray has a secondary uh, benefit in that it will just catch anything that, that trickles out. So, let me see. We'll see which one of these fits better. 
obviously the number two. And uh, one of the things you need to do on a, on a fastener like this that's been in forever, yeah, it may need a hammer. A hammer and a screwdriver do the same thing, but this obviously, as you can see, this is much more effective. And this is my DeWalt Max XR DCF886. Great tool. And here is the retired part. I'm going to just hang it on the trash can because I think actually a lot of it can be recycled. And let's see, where's the new part? Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm going to actually do this the easy way and just add a little Loctite to each one. So the importance of Loctite is that, um, you know, motorcycles vibrate constantly. And I don't want these screws to work themselves loose. So I'm going to start these by hand to make sure that they are properly seated. And then I'm going to use my torque gun. And it's worth, and I, again, I've put the proper size bit in the chuck. I suspect these would be torqued to about 25 newtons, so I'm just going to check them to make sure they're as reasonably tight as I can get them by hand. Because again, I don't want this seal to break over top of the the engine um, that could just be more exciting than I enjoy. So now we need to go fishing. So we're done with these and I'm going to use this to just wipe up a little bit. So first things first, we need to get gloves on again, and I need to get the rest of the fuel line out of here. Um, one piece broke on me when I was taking it out. You know, and, and a significant part of the problem here is you can't get two hands in here to work. So everything you do has to be done with one hand at a time. I can certainly appreciate how my doctor may have felt when he was doing knee surgery. Uh, this would be really frustrating. I had knee surgery last week and uh, great doctor. 
I had a, a torn meniscus from falling off a ladder is what I suspect. that worked because that hose was old and brittle and it was not going anywhere so take that clamp out all right so just looking for bigger stuff that I can pick out by hand This looks like a lot of fun. So I'm going to use a little bit of Vaseline to lubricate So, Vaseline definitely made that easier. I'm not sure how nicely that would have gone together without it. Um, you don't have to buy Vaseline brand. That's uh, Walmart brand, which was like 99 cents or something silly and cheap like that. I have a hunch that these bolts aren't coming out, so I may be ordering that here shortly. But, uh, wow, we'll see, this was stupid. but 5 16th seems to be working. Please do not spin. Oh, praise. Yeah, hallelujah, it's not spinning. So maybe this is salvageable. This is a $13 part, and when I ordered them, I thought, well, I bet I can reuse that. Now, I'm gonna be as good to the environment as I can possibly be here by recycling all this old metal and sending it um, put it in my recycle bin and uh, let them melt it down and make something else out of it. Which they should have. You know, this little rubber thing was 60 bucks. I'd be frustrated if for $60 I didn't get all the hardware that went with it. And this must not be the original BMW spec part because one of the things I can see in here is that it's close, but not perfect. So it only uses five bolts to put it back together. that's why because this goes on here so how does this go on here I think this just sits on here there it goes. Okay. 
Okay, so. I think that doesn't matter. Um, it does make that nice and simple. But this has got to come on. This has got to go on here first. And if you're hearing some little scraping noises in the background, uh, my um, foster cat, Sophia, is down here making sure to mark the cardboard box. Come here, Sophia. Oh, yeah. So this is Sophia, and she is a very old cat, and she has a thyroid issue, but she's just the most loving thing. And... Um, one of my friends couldn't keep her, so I told him I'd foster her, and I'd foster Jasmine. Jasmine is what I call Skitty Kitty. She won't come near you. She's basically feral. And, uh, but Jasmine is super, super affectionate, and I don't think I could force her to take a pill every day. And um, she's probably 15 or 16 years old. So what I'm doing is I just feed her two cans of wet food a day, and... You know, it's probably not perfect, but she has uh, been gaining weight, and I think she'll be okay. So we're going to stuff all this crap in here, and then we're going to play with Houdini. Wow, pain in the ass. Yeah, that will, that will make that much simpler to live with. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to look around while I'm here.
more than one hand here. I think it's bad fuel pump. And that's that. So I'm gonna order another fuel pump. And when that gets here, I'll deal with it. Until then, it can sit still. Kind of frustrating, but yeah, you know, all this other crap had to be replaced anyway, and I don't think it'll take that much time to fix this from here on out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Tune in next week for more fun.